We are in the kitchen today and we are gonna make super simple meatballs that you will be known for for the rest of your life. This is a very easy recipe to do. I'm Sherry, you might, might know me as the Dirt Road Dietitian. Very simple ingredients, basic ground beef. We all love ground beef, it's so versatile, so easy to do. This basic meatball recipe is really gonna allow you to customize it, use it whenever you want. Weeknight meal, put them in the freezer, we're gonna work through all the steps for you in just a minute. So, we're gonna start with delicious ground beef. You don't wanna eat that. And then I've got some seasoned breadcrumbs. You can do a gluten-free, you can totally use oats as well too. It's a definite option. We have some binder. That binder is egg. egg. Just scramble it up a little bit. And then we're gonna do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Make a little bit more pepper, that's what I did up then. A little bit of salt. And then for a little bit extra moisture, you're gonna need some water, you can use milk, anything like that works right there. This is where it gets fun for the kids, or if you're like me and you don't mind getting your hands dirty, this is where it happens right here. I'm just gonna mix it all together. You don't want to overwork it because they might be a little bit tough, but you still got to get it all pretty well combined. If you want to make them hot, you could add in other seasonings as well within that too. I'm just going to kind of work all this together. Meatballs are great for all ages, whether you have young kids, older kids, you're getting a great source of protein for that iron and that zinc that we need as well too. And really goodness, who just doesn't love meatballs? So that's just enough right there. That's what we're looking for is just enough. And then from there, I've had raw meat on my hands. So I'm gonna go wash them. You guys ready to make them? Tip, I use a cookie scooper. So we have even meatballs every time. That way when you cook them, they're gonna cook evenly and be done at the same time. The other trick is to use a cooling rack on a baking sheet and it allows the extra fat just to kind of fall off and you're just left with a really delicious meatball. So from there, we're just gonna make a bunch of little guys right here. We're gonna go in the oven, 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. The key is getting them to 160 degrees. That food safe temperature for ground beef is 160 degrees. These are gonna go in the oven and I'll see you back in a bit. So you've got your cooked meatballs. Now what do you do with them if you really don't wanna eat them that night? I've got a trick for you. You're gonna put them on another sheet pan, space them out so they can freeze basically by themselves. And then when they're frozen, you can put them in a freezer safe bag, put them in here, and then you're gonna be able to pull them out and use whenever you need them. The last minute party, um, you need another last minute meal idea because you're like, oh my goodness, I forgot. It's easy to do and ready to go. And the only thing that you need potentially is the vehicle of the sauce. And that's totally up to you. But if you check us out at oklabeef.org, we definitely have sauce options for you too. Apricot barbecue meatballs, here we come. Super simple sauce, three ingredients. Barbecue sauce, you can do it sweet, you can do it savory, you can do it spicy. that in, the secret is in the jelly or the jam. This is apricot preserves. Try it, I promise you it's delicious. And then a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm choosing honey Dijon mustard today. Three simple ingredients. All we are going to do is bring these up to heat and let them come to a gentle boil. From here, really, the, op the uh, opportunities for what you can do are endless. If you're a barbecue meatball fan like I am, you can get your sauce made for that. If you want to do these with spaghetti and meatballs, you can do that. If you are needing uh, a holiday appetizer, these are going to be perfect um, vehicle for that sauce you have coming up. Or really, if you're in the new year and you're just needing to meal prep a little bit more and want to do a little bit better for yourself, these are a great way to be able to pull out of the freezer and be ready to go any night of the week. Um, and just give you a great lean protein source um, and be able to fuel yourself as you continue with your busy life.